Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to the very first episode of Not MLG Mondays. Not MLG Mondays is a series where you, the viewers, choose a non-conventional but fun setup for me to use in Battlefield 4. The way that you do this is by commenting below with the guns and gadgets you would like me to see, and I'll choose from the highest rated comment. And since there's probably not going to be a lot of comments on this video, I bet you that the one that you post below will probably be the one that I choose. So since this is the first episode, I've had to choose my own loadout that I thought up on my own. So today we're going to be playing aggressive silent sniper rifles. As you can see, I'm switching between the Gold Magnum and the M40A5 because those are the best aggressive snipers in my opinion. Also, I'm using the Tug and motion grenades because, you know, I think that having map awareness is one of the most important things as an aggressive sniper is just being able to see everybody on the map as well as, you know, with the motion grenades and Tug, you are revealing the enemies for your allies as well. And, you know, being an aggressive sniper, you only got one shot, meaning you can only take out pretty much one guy at a time. So having your allies there ready to back you up for four or five guys in a room is very, very helpful and very beneficial for your overall lifespan. The hardest part I think about playing as an aggressive sniper, especially with the silencer on, is that while in Battlefield 4, silencers no longer change the drop-off range of your damage, so they're not going to affect how much damage or you do at all in any way. It is the, the silencers do still, however, affect the velocity of your bullets, so it's a lot slower, and with the M40A5 and the Gold Magnum having one of the slowest bullet velocities already, it just makes it the problem even worse. And the reason why that having a slow bullet velocity is really difficult when you're an aggressive sniper is because when you're moving and other people are moving and you're shooting, those bullets are so slow, it's really hard. You have to lead the person perfectly because your bullet is going to, you know, it's going to take a while for it to get there, and that person is going to have time to move out of the way so you have to be able to lead your target perfectly and that's something that's very difficult to do on the fly especially when you're moving already so I think that one of the best things that you can do is make sure that you're on a server with really low ping, you know, so that you can be the fastest you can be with as little lag as possible. Also, I tried out hardcore because hardcore, you know, it's a lot less health that people have. So if you shoot somebody at long range with a silenced uh, sniper rifle and you, you get that hit, you're going to get the kill because in regular it's kind of difficult and sometimes disappointing when you're playing and you shoot somebody with a sniper rifle from really long distance. It's not a headshot, but you still hit him in the chest or something something, but it's still not a kill. It's kind of frustrating, however in hardcore you're able to secure those kills at long range even without getting a headshot. So if that's something that you're trying to do, I would definitely suggest hardcore if you're trying to feel like going for long range silent sniper rifle kills, but since we're doing aggressive silent snipers, I try to stick mainly to regular because you can still get those awesome one shot kills up close no matter what range, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect it by this, the, uh, the silencer because, you know, silencer doesn't do that anymore in Battlefield 4, which is something that I actually learned so yeah we learned a bunch of stuff to get a guys we learned that silencers no longer affect the reducing of the range and it's actually really hard to be an aggressive sniper so I'm I see these people online doing it where they're just like quick scoping and all this stuff in battlefield 4 and you know I got to give them props because it's really difficult I tried it it really made me rage a little bit at times so I encourage you guys to try it and don't forget to submit your comment below where you want me to do for next MLG Monday where I could do any sort of setup so as you see here we're using silent sniper rifles that's kind of weird and if you wanted to suggest something just make sure it's not like the ace 23 or something like that because you know those are the OP weapons that everybody use and that's why it's called not MLG Mondays and not MLG Mondays because we're being not MLG by picking guns that normally people don't use anyways thanks so much for watching guys I hope you learned something maybe about being an aggressive sniper that's silent and I hope to see you next Monday Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Spray and pray out.